Doug from the Indestructible D account and I'm here with my very first music review. Lots of fun. Obviously I'm not going to be very good, nothing I do is. But still, tag along and try and enjoy the great things that I have going for you. Especially in this review. <laughs> Everybody's favourite band, Dark War, with their album, Calling the Earth to Witness. Now, I've shown some of you, some of my faithful viewers, not really, some of my friends, I'll call them, even though that's still not really true. For instance, Austin and Makasaur, you guys absolutely hate this band, and I don't see why. Well, I kind of do. Personally, um, well, I'll tell you first of the lineup, because it's quite an odd one. Basically, every single person in the band right now is from the band Harmony. If you've not heard of them, I don't know if you should check them out. I've never heard of them either. So it's basically just Harmony on its own. Except for the bass player, who's now gone. He was completely new. Um, their style of music, I think, is really good. Progressive power, mainly on the progressive side. Basically, since they don't really have a single song under five minutes, other than possibly the play part one. I've... whoops, sorry. <laughs> I've shown a some of you this video, but you didn't really like it. Something's crawling around in my room. But I, I think the band's great. Um, I found them just on last, the last FM, where I heard the song All Eyes On Me, which I thought was really good. And straight from there I just went and bought the album and I enjoyed it thoroughly. Which sounds a bit gay, but still I did. I don't really, I, some people may have a problem with it because the songs really do drone on, on and on and on, but that wasn't the problem that most people had with it, the problem most people had with it was the, um, the vocalist, if I can try and pronounce his name, Henrik Bath, <laughs> yeah, Henrik Bath, people said that his voice was flat useless, didn't fit the song, and I think that's really just the opposite of the truth. Um, I like his voice. He can go high with it, he can go a bit low with it, but not really. I think it's just his natural voice. And I think it f fits the songs, it fits the story, and it works really well. I say fits the story, but what story am I talking about? I don't even know. The songs, it, progressive metal usually tells a story along an entire album, from my experience anyway. This one each single song seems to tell a story, but I'm still not entirely sure what this story is. From the views of it, it seems to be about vengeance, lost love, anger, different things like that, but you can't really tell. The music video for the play part 2 doesn't really shed any light on it. Um, but yeah, the guitars are solid, the drums are solid, the bass guitarist is now gone, he was okay enough, and the keyboard you won't really hear the keyboards unless they're in their own sort of separate solos just to fill in a part so they can basically start up with the rest. The keyboards are cool enough, not that I really take them into consideration. The whole band is rather good. Um, <laughs> Marcus Siegfriedsen, who's on the guitar, is also part of everybody else's favourite band, Seven Days. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about. But overall the band is pretty much good. I think they're solid, for f especially for a first release. Um, they should have another one coming up within about a year. <laughs> I'm hoping for anyway. Everybody else is dreading that. Um, but if you want to check them out, check out the description box below me. I'll be posting up some links so you can see the videos, the band website, the where you can buy it, anything else. Uh, hope you enjoyed my music review. I know you didn't. It's bad, and I'll see you soon.